Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I want to do a video on the reassembly of the Smith & Wesson Shield EZ. Okay, so the, the reassembly is a bit of a nightmare on this gun. Um, I, I don't own this gun. I would never think to buy one. It's a terrible gun. Don't recommend it. Uh, I'll, I'll, you're going to see throughout the course of this video why. Um, but uh, the, the reassembly part in, in particular is pain in the neck. Uh, I, I got here a shield 9 which is a very good gun right so don't confuse the shield 9 with the shield EZ two totally different guns built completely different this is actually a very decent gun i carried this for a year so the shield EZ has a back strap safety and a thumb safety so the safety setup is kind of like this uh 1911 here right uh where you got the back strap safety here and the thumb safety so when you take this gun apart i'm gonna use this gun let me take the shield 9 apart the takedown is the same. You lock the gun open, you rotate this down, bring this forward, then you gotta dry fire this gun, and that's how you take it apart. Um, so to reassemble the Shield EZ, the first thing you gotta know is that you cannot be putting any pressure on the back strap safety, okay? You gotta kinda hold the gun like this when you put the slide in, right? So it's kinda weird, but yeah, you can't touch it because when you press on the on the um, back strap safety, it, lift, it lifts up a lever that does not allow the slide to come back. So you have to hold it like this when you put the slide on. Uh, the, which I kind of remember that from the last time I was reassembling this. What I did not remember uh, was the, the recoil spring. Okay, Instead of it being round like on this uh, Shield 9, right? You see how the back, right? It, right? It's, it's, it's one of those double recoil springs. So instead of the back being round over here that one is rectangular okay um so that instead of it being round like that it kind of looks like this so when you put your recoil spring in it has to go in with a rectangle long ways up not like this because this is the way i would think that it goes in right but but that's not going to allow the the slide to go on it has to go in like that all right so the recoil spring has to go in you know, the rectangular recoil spring has to go in long ways on your into your slide in order for it to go in. I didn't know that. It took me like 20 minutes to kind of figure that out. I watched a couple of videos. Nobody mentioned that. And then finally, I, I, when, as I was studying it, I noticed that the back of the, the recoil spring is different um, on both sides. And I said, wait a second. If it's different, may, it obviously makes a difference how it goes in. And I just tried it the other way and it went right in. Okay, so, um, so that's the thing to know. You got to keep... No pressure on the back strap when you put your slide on and the recoil spring has to be set so when you put it into the slide it is like that. So aside from that, let me tell you guys why, two other reasons why I, or one other reason why I hate that gun. Uh, let me get this on. So to get this one on, you have to just make sure your recoil spring is in all the way. This is not the easiest thing in the world either. Bring this back all the way, lock it back. You got to go like straight back. If you're going halfway, usually it. it doesn't something falls out of position and then you just rotate that down and now this gun is fine okay, so, so like i said the shield 9 is a very good gun uh quite heavy duty uh this is probably i i think that this gun I, I, the way i've heard it been put is that this gun is built to professional standards okay uh this, this is a very good gun it's just I, I don't carry it anymore because it's just a little bit too big for my taste and also uh this one's not optic ready um i owe me you know, I only carry guns with optics now. Um, but as far as the safeties on the um, on the shield on the shield EZ, you've got your thumb safety and your back strap safety. These two safeties work against each other because the way you're supposed to hold this gun when you shoot it, right, right, is your thumb is supposed to ride on top of the thumb safety to make sure it's disengaged. So safety's on as you come out of the holster. Basically, your thumbs go click it down. Right, and your and your thumb stays on top of it. The problem is that um, when your thumb is on top, you can see how it lets off some pressure on the back strap safety. Right, so you can see how if my thumb is down, you can see there's a lot more pressure on the back strap safety ver versus if it's up here. Now the 1911, which I have here, uh, is a lot less sensitive, so the slightest pressure on the back strap safety will disengage it. The Shield EZ is. Um, um, you know, basically it takes a lot more pressure to 
to disengage that safety. So what I find when people shoot the gun and they're riding their thumb up here, they're not putting enough pressure on the back strap safety uh, to disengage it and the gun does not work. Basically the, the safety does not come off. If you shoot it, I mean basically I have no choice. I have to teach people to shoot it with their thumbs down. The problem with your, with the, with your thumbs on the underside is now there's, you know, on the, on the, especially on the recoil, it's possible for your thumb to push up and engage the safety while you're shooting. So that's why you, your, th your thumb has to uh, be basically, it has to be on top of the safety, pushing it down. On the Beretta 92, the safety works in the opposite direction because it's on the, uh, it's on the slide. So on that one, you have to keep your thumbs up to make sure your safety is off, right? On this 1911 design, your thumb has to go on, has to go down. Um, so that's the, the, the big reason why I do not like the Shield EZ. The two safeties work against each other. Uh, but on top of that, the, the reassembly is a pain in the neck uh, between having to make sure that you're not engaging the back strap safety and also making sure that your recoil spring is oriented the correct way, which is this way, you know, long ways up. So uh, I hope this information is useful to you guys. Part of the reason why I'm doing this video is that if I ever run into this problem again, I have my own video to come back and reference because this this detail in particular about the uh, uh, the recoil spring and how that has to be oriented like this, I was not able to find anywhere. Um, so I wanted to have a video to come back and, and reference. Uh, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. And also make sure you're following me on on odyssey which is an uncensored platform uh, odyssey spelled uh, o-d-y-s-e-e -E. my channel over the name over there is uh, pocono tactical i'm also on rumble you can find me over there i'm not i, I don't remember if i'm in there as safa or as pocono shooting I'm, I'm one of those two you should be you should be able to find me with one of those two uh so thanks for watching i'll talk to you all soon